What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and what you see here is my brand new George Foreman smokeless grill. What I love about this one, it's all digital. Not sure why these companies are still using the word smokeless. I've yet to see a grill that doesn't smoke. Just doesn't exist guys. But Hopefully it just doesn't produce a lot of smoke. I'm cool with that. This is the other side. And so this is the top, guys. Nothing much to see there. I don't know how valuable this is to you, but this can actually be stored away on its side. I won't be doing it, but, you know, so my subscribers with small spaces, you can put it on its side and easily store it away. This is a fingerprint magnet, so at least the manual did say that you can use um, stainless steel cleaner to clean this, so it can be clean back to normal, back to first day clean. This is your plug, guys. Not too long, not too short. All right, let's open it up. Now, these... Uh, Plates are detachable, dishwasher safe, of, of course, you can just run it in your um, sink with some soapy water and that'll be fine. These are detachable, dishwasher safe, but soap and water is just fine. I don't think you should have to need to put it in your dishwasher. That's the top. Now, George Foreman, I wish you would have like a, at least a griddle plate, um, maybe an accessory that you can buy or should have came with a griddle plate but it doesn't this is all the plates that I come with I'm gonna detach them in just a second right, you see this right here we're just gonna press that and then it should just pop out and so that's under the plate and you have this design to ensure that no liquid gets to the burners Same thing for the top. Let's go ahead and get that off. See, it just pops right off. Should be just as easy to put it back right on. Boom, snap. Same as here. Snap. Now on the right side of this machine, you have your drip tray, and that's pretty cool how big this is yeah this is double the size of a traditional um, drip tray on a George Foreman even more than double probably so I'm pleased to see that let's plug it in for you guys now on Amazon this is running $129 um, and I ain't gonna lie I thought this would be a little bit bigger it says family size but this is uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's family size. I would say definitely, I'd say definitely three people size. But I don't know about four to six. But let's plug it in. And this is what I'm loving about this machine. Because I've never had a George Foreman this digital before. So this is your power button right here. There you go. Then can you guys see it? Let's see. So the temp on this guy goes as low as 325 and as high as 425. Typical George Foreman. Um, the time goes from uh, 5 minutes to 40 minutes, which it sounds about right. Well, guys, you know I'm done with the unboxing. Enough of talking about that. It's a George Foreman grill. <laughs> We've seen a million of these, right? We want to see how it cooks. So, one of the things that I miss so much about a George Foreman grill is making bacon because it can make it, you know, usually, I think when I had it, my last George Foreman about two years ago, I think I'd set it for 10 minutes and it would just be perfect and not a lot of smell in your kitchen at all, actually. So, it was one of the things that I do miss about um, the George Foreman, so... Without further ado, let's go ahead and crank this up and make some bacon. Now I'm going to show you the manual at the end because who, who really cares about the manual? It does come with a manual. It does have charts and it does have recipes, guys. 
And actually, I did skim over it on bacon. I think it said like 375 for like 12, 14 minutes. But I'm going against the grain. Let's go. Let's go 425. I'm going to do 10 minutes. And I'm going to hit start. Oh. So it, it doesn't have like a preheat. Huh. Okay. Well then, since that's the case, I'm going to give it three minutes then. So I will just, oh, I'll just hit time. And I'm going to hit 13 minutes. Using thick bacon, guys, when you're doing bacon in these type of grills, always use thick bacon. It cooks better. Or else if you use non-thick bacon, it's going to shrivel up into nothing. And you'll be like, I, why did I cook this for 10 minutes? It's We're still hungry. We don't have any bacon. It's shriveled up to nothing. <laughs> ha ha! So, it illuminates green when it's ready. Nice. So it's red when it's preheating, and it turns green when it's ready. So that's good. Of course, you know I don't read the instructions, so we learn as we go. <laughs> Let's put the bacon on since it says it's ready. All right, we got a little sizzle action going. That's what we want to hear, right? And now, you know, this country pride is North Carolina bacon. It's not, this is not the best bacon, but it was $4 and change. So we got to go, we got to go with the sale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's see. Come on, get on there. One video, don't embarrass me. All right, there you go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five strips of bacon. Let's close it. And I'm going to, what's cool about this, go to the time, and I'm going to put it back to 10 minutes. So we can adjust as we go. No worries there. All right. I'll be back in 10. And of course it smokes. I told you no grill doesn't smoke. But this is typical. Nothing crazy. I don't think this is going to set off my, you know, smoke alarm or anything like this. This is the same amount of smoke I see coming out of any... George Foreman making bacon. Now, what I'm curious to see is when it hits zero, what happens? Does it turn off? Does it keep going? What does it do? All right, it made a noise. Okay, well, I assume it's still on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit power. And let's check on it. We're going to go into double overtime and fix us a sandwich. All right, let's see what we're working with. Perfect. Now they shrunk because I have this cheap bacon, cheap thick bacon, but you know, if you use better quality, it wouldn't shrink as much. But this is perfect for me. It's my bacon jar, y'all. And I forgot to mention, guys, this has like a floating hinge on on the back of it, like a coil. So you can kind of use this as a, like a penne. I'm going to show you that right now. You ready? I think we're done. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, and turn it off. Shout out to the viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. Anyway, guys, I'm hungry. You take a bite, please. Man, look at that. This could be you. Look at that. Look at them lines. Both sides. You first. You got it? Okay. Mmm. That's a mighty fine sandwich right there. 
Mighty fine. Mm. Yeah, see that cilantro right there? Mm. Still good, man. Can I tell you guys, this was super easy to clean. No need to put this in the dishwasher, guys. I just used some warm soap and a sponge, and it wiped right off. I even did the drip tray. Let me show you that. Come on now. Oh, you can't see it. Let me show you. Look at that. Come on. That's what the bottom looks like. And that silver part is basically your drip tray right there. So your drip tray is probably half of the bottom. Of course, guys, this comes with a manual. Um, and I, what I do like about it, it does, I did see charts in here, which is always a plus with this do's and don'ts. Where were they? Oh, yeah, I did have, have this right here. Um, best tips. And then it also comes with this quick guide. Turkey burgers, same thing. A little quick guide there, vegetables, blah, blah, blah. Okay, judgment time. Is this worth it, guys? Is this worth $129 for you? For me, I would say yes and no. If you have space for a bigger George Foreman or a bigger grill, then no. If space is a limitation, then this is as good as you're going to get as far as a grill for this size. It's all digital. Um, you know, and we all know George Foreman. We, you can make burgers, hot dogs. You know, you could use it as a penne press. Um, you know, it has an on and off button. It's, you know, it's, it's, and it's stylish too. So, I mean, and, oh, of course the plates are detachable. You can, you know, it's easy to clean. And if you really want to, if you have to, you could throw it in the dishwasher, including the, uh, the, the, uh, drip tray as well. Um, all of that can go into the dishwasher. So if space is a limitation, I would say yes. If you have the space to get something bigger, you can do a lot better, um, at that price point and you know probably you know i'm what is it 189 159 you can probably get a ninja foodie grill so if you had space enough to get a ninja foodie grill i would get that over this but if again if space is is a limitation and you want something easy pick up turn it on and it works easy peasy we all know the george foreman then this is your guy so i hope that helped well, anyway, I had fun showing you this George Foreman. It's one of the latest editions, so I figured I'd... They've been quiet about it. You know, I haven't seen it on QVC or HSN or anything like that. They just kind of just pushed this out there and said, Hey, whoever sees it, here I am. <laughs> so, for those who are looking for this, I hope this helped. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. That's all I got. So uh, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.